Welcome to the seventh lesson of the atomic structure and the periodic table topic. In this topic, the key questions are 1. What are group 1 elements and how to describe their characteristics? 2. What are group 7 elements and how to describe their characteristics? Key terms that you need to be familiar with. Group 1 and Group 7 elements. In today's lesson, we will talk about the Group 1 and Group 7 elements and their characteristics. Group 1 elements are called alkali metals. They are all metallic elements. We have talked about hydrogen that does not fully fall into this category. Alkaline metals include Li, Na, K, Rb, Cs and Fr. The reactivity of the elements increases as we go down the group. Task. Now please pause the video and try to explain the change in reactivity of group 1 elements. Hint. They are all located in the first column of the periodic table, with one electron on the outer shell. Extension. How could you describe the trend of the melting points? The atomic radii increase when going down in the group. As we go down, there is more significant repulsive force between the inner and outer shell electrons. The stronger repulsion makes it easier to remove the outer electron. Therefore, as a consequence, the ionisation of the atom becomes easier. This causes increased reactivity the melting points clearly decrease. This decreasing trend can be explained by the weakened metallic bond. The metallic bond gets weaker with the increased number of electrons, as the electrostatic attraction becomes less effective. We will talk about the metallic bond in more detail in the bonding topic. Group 7 elements are the halogens. They are all non-metal elements, apart from AT, and the series includes F, Cl, Br, I and AT. Task. Now please pause the video and describe how the boiling point changes for halogens. Hint. Boiling point is the temperature where the liquid turns into gas. Extension. How can the oxidising and reducing abilities of halogens be described? All the halogens form diatomic molecules. F2, Cl2, Br2, I2. The boiling point of F is minus 188C and it increases for the elements below. Cl minus 35, Br 58, I 184. This indicates stronger intermolecular forces. F2 and Cl2 are gases, while bromine is liquid and iodine is solid at room temperature. With increased masses, the strength of the intermolecular forces rises. Oxidation means loss of electrons. Therefore, those elements that can stabilise their electronic structure, reaching noble gas structure, by losing an electron will be oxidised easily. 
These are typically the group 1 and 2 elements. Reduction is the process through which an atom, or compound, gains extra electrons. Those that can reach the stable noble gas structure via gaining extra electrons are easy to reduce. Halogens are typical examples for these, as they have seven outer shell electrons and they need only one more to reach the stable structure. As halogens are easy to be reduced, they are strong oxidising agents. In general, the reactivity of halogens decreases with increasing mass. If we want to express it with oxidising ability, we can say that the oxidising ability decreases with increasing mass. A more reactive element is able to displace the less reactive element from its compounds. Therefore, fluorine gas can be used to oxidise chloride, bromide and iodide compounds. Chlorine gas can oxidise bromide and iodide compounds and bromine is able to oxidise iodide compounds. The reducing ability shows the opposite trend, as it should. The most effective reducing halogen is iodine and the least effective one is fluorine. Thank you